friends and welcome back to this week's self-love masterclass. I know that it's been a little while. It's so good to be back here recording and doing this class. For those of you that are new to my channel or wherever you're watching this video, my name is Renee Mullings Lewis. I am a self-love coach. I'm also the founder and CEO of Modern Day Wise Woman, which is an online coaching practice. And here we talk about all things self-love, personal development, mindset, holistic health and spirituality. I know it's a mouthful, but essentially we help you to build a relationship with yourself that allows you to have the relationships and the life that you desire most. Today we're diving into an important topic. It's a question that I get asked a lot. We'll be talking about how to make yourself do something when you don't want to do it or when you don't feel like doing it. How do you ensure that you're not sabotaging yourselves, right? Because it's like we know what to do, but sometimes knowing is not enough. So how do we get past that? Before we dive into the video, remember, you're probably going to want to take some notes. So get your smartphone out, get your tablet out. If you like good old fashioned pen and paper, get it out so that you can record what you want to record. You can also, of course, save this class to your own personal playlist. And there are some playlists that are circulating up here above. I don't know. We're going to put them somewhere up here so that once you finish this video, if you want to continue to deep dive or binge the rest of the series, you can do that. All right. That's it. Let's get started. First, let me say this. All of us who are on a self-love journey know that it's not healthy to force ourselves to do things that are harmful for us, right? We know it's not healthy for us to do things that are going to cause us unnecessary pain, that are going to like destroy our bodies, um, that are going to destroy our important relationships. So this video is not some kind of like video to help you muscle through doing something that's not good for you. We are talking about how to stick to a plan that you know is best for you, how to have you do the things that you have agreed to and said consciously are the things that you need to do in order to be healthier, for example, or have a healthier marriage, or have a happy home, or build better, closer relationships with your family and friends. We are talking about how to make sure you don't sabotage yourself. The big issue for many people is that we have not developed the muscle to be able to stick to and do the things that we said we would. In other words, a lot of us are very used to saying we're going to start something, saying we're going to do something, talking about doing it, wanting to do it, feeling the emotions and the desires to do it, but then not following through. It actually is a practice to line up your words with your actions. So I'm going to say this again. It is actually a practice to line up your words with your actions. Now, there are a number of reasons why some of us are not capable of lining up our words with our actions. Okay. Some of us have medical conditions that prevent us from being able to do this. But the vast majority of people that I know and work with, the vast majority of people that are watching this video 
It is not that you have a medical condition that renders you incapable. It is that your relationship to yourself and your practice around discipline or lining up your words with your actions is almost non-existent. You, you do not have the practice in doing that. What working with a coach often helps you with is accountability, being accountable to your word, being accountable to the things that you say you will do. Ideally, when we're in a relationship with someone, they somewhat are our accountability partners as well. You know, if we say we're going to do something and then we don't, usually our partner is going to say, hey, you said you were going to do this and you didn't. Family members can be good for that too. People who love you, your friends, again, your friends and your family, sometimes those people will be like, hey, what's going on? Like you said you were going to do this and you haven't done it. Or when are you going to start doing this? Or how long are you going to continue to do that? At the end of the day, however, people can't make you do things that you are not committed to doing. So I'll say that again. People cannot make you do things that you are not committed to doing. So for example, if you say that you want to feel really good in your body and you want to eat better and you want to move your body, you can say those things and other people can hold you accountable. But if you don't have the practice in lining up your words with your actions in this area, it's not going to work. You will continue to be that person that sets goals and talks about things and you get nothing done. You stay exactly where you are in the same situation and in the same patterns. How then do we break this? How do we get through this? How do we build that muscle to do what we say we're going to do, lining up the words with the actions. You hear me saying that a lot in this video. Here's a technique that I like to use with my clients. It's a pretty rigorous and advanced technique. And not everyone is ready for this and not everyone is prepared for this. And again, I really advise you to watch this video and manage yourself. If you're not ready for this kind of content, if this is too difficult for you, you should probably turn the video off now. If you're like one of those really fragile people or you're in a really fragile state and you can't take a tough conversation or tough love, this is not the class for you. I'm telling you right now, click off. But if you are ready, you really want to hear this. You want something that's going to work and you are of the mindset and the mental health to be able to take this. Here it is. You got to confront what happens if you don't make these changes. You got to confront what your life will be like, what will happen if you don't start if you keep doing things the way that you've been doing them, if you keep on with the same pattern. So let's take the area of like love and relationships. Okay. If you decide that you're not going to put any more effort into, you know, meeting people, if you decide that you're going to continue to date the same old kinds of people that you've been dating, if you um, decide that you're not going to change your attitude, that you think all men are awful and you think they suck and you think, you know, you just can't find someone good because, you know, I don't know, like what, what, what is a reason that sometimes people have? Like you just feel like there are no good men out there. If you don't change the way you think and you don't change the way you act and you keep doing all of the same things that you've been doing for the last two, three, four, five, whatever, how many years it is that you've been single, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? You probably will stay single. You probably will continue to be by yourself and alone. 
And maybe if you're someone that wants to get married or you're someone that wants to get, you know, have kids or have your own, you know, biological kids or whatever it is, maybe that's not going to happen for you. Maybe it'll be too late if you don't make some changes. So you got to sit with that. You got to sit with the reality of what will happen if you keep doing things the way you've always been doing them. Let's take another example. Let's say what you want is to eat better. You want to eat better. And let's say right now you, you drink lots of pop and eat lots of sugar and you don't really eat vegetables and you overeat and you do all these things. You just don't take care of your nutrition. I want you to think about what is likely to happen. What does the future look like for you? Well, if you never start eating better, if you never start eating maybe some fruits and vegetables and you, you don't start drinking water and you don't start moving your body or doing some, you know, some workouts, doing things that are healthy for your body, it's likely to happen, right? Is maybe a heart attack, right? Maybe gaining an amount of weight that your body cannot handle. And so that could have impact on your knees and your joints and your spine and your back. It could mean you die early. It could mean you won't be able to walk or you might lose a limb or a leg or, you know, it could mean that your health fails and that you're not around much longer. These are the things that could happen if you don't change, if you don't do things differently, if you won't do what you know you ought to do. And I take you through these examples because I want you to look at your own life and I want you to think about some of the things that you say are important to you and the things that you have written down time and time again, over and over and over that you have said you need to do that you're not doing. And I want you to look at what your life is likely to be like six months, one year, three years, five years down the road if you don't do something about this. For some people, it's job or money. What if you keep doing the same things that you've been doing with your money? You don't start investing for your retirement or you don't start considering how you can make some money in other ways or you don't stop spending money on, you know, clothes you can't afford or whatever it is. What's going to happen? Where are you going to be in one year, five year, 10 years? Think about this. When you really confront what will happen if you don't make a change now, like if you don't really get, this is what's going to happen to you. If you don't start, if you don't do the things you say you're going to do, if you are not deeply connected to that, it's why you keep doing the same things over and over again. It's why you don't start. Think about a Christmas carol. Part of the reason why Scrooge has this transformative experience is because he comes face to face with his worst nightmares, his worst nightmares, his worst fears. He literally ends up living, experiencing his worst nightmares because he wouldn't change. And that is what this exercise is about. It's like, I'm going to take you to the future. I'm going to take you to what your life is going to be like if you don't do this now. This is what helps you to get your ass moving, to light a pilot under your butt. And I encourage you to also think about things this way. We always think that we have so much time. We have so much time next month, next year. You know what? Next year, you might be 34 and in exactly the same situation, 35 in the same situation, 36 in the same situation. You might be 45 in the same situation. Then you're 50 in the same situation. If you have a mindset where you're like, it'll happen for me later. It'll happen when, you know, 
we have more time, when we have more money, when I'm not as stressed, you know, all of this, you're never going to do it. Why? Because there's always an excuse for you. You think that things, your circumstances and things need to be different so that you can be different. But the truth is, People who do the things that they need to and get things done, do them regardless of the circumstances and the situations. They don't have excuses. They don't have justifications. They are able to develop themselves to go beyond the things in life that stop them. Here is the other thing that you need to let go of. If you are someone that you are always listening to a podcast, always listening to a YouTube video, always listening to an audiobook. It's like you are ferociously looking for this thing, this nugget of wisdom, this pearl of wisdom that is going to hit you like a ton of bricks. And all of a sudden you're going to have this incredible insight. And when you have this incredible insight, it's going to change everything for you. You're all of a sudden going to be able to do all the things that you've always wanted to do. Like it's just going to change your life. If you have that thinking, that's you sabotaging yourself. It's not going to happen. Okay. It's not going to happen. It's unlikely that's going to happen because that's not how transformation works. A lot of people have these incredible insights. Whoa, mind blowing. I can't believe it. Like that hit deep. Oh my God. I can't believe I never saw this. And they do absolutely frigging nothing with it. Everything stays the same because it's not about necessarily knowing more information. It is about what you do with the information you already have. And people who do that, and I know because I used to be someone like that too, because I wasn't at the time willing to get off my ass and do what it took. Like I didn't want to develop the muscle. I was being lazy and scared. Okay. And that's why nothing changed. Nothing changed. I Courses, books, reading this and that. Not a goddamn thing changed. You don't need another podcast or thought leader or book or something to tell you this thing. Don't get me wrong. I read books. I listen to podcasts all the time. But I'm not relying on them to fix me or change me. That I know it's up to me. And that's what you got to get. If you want it, it's up to you to do it. Nothing outside of yourself is going to change you, but you, you got to accept that develop the muscle to be like, no one else is coming. Nothing else is going to do this for me. There's no other person alive, no other content created that is going to make me all of a sudden just have a different way of thinking. If I want to have a different way of thinking, I got to do it. I got to decide I'm doing it. I got to confront what happens if I don't do it. I got to stop looking for answers everywhere outside of myself. And I got to face myself in the mirror and decide, am I worth it? Am I going to do this? Like, am I going to do this or not? And that's why I said this is a difficult conversation. It's not for everyone. Not everybody is at a place where they're ready to hear this or can hear this. Okay. But you got to decide what future matters to you most. Do you want the one where nothing changes or do you want the one where things change? Do you want that life? that one that's aligned with all the actions that you know you're meant to take? Do you want what's at the end of that road? Or do you want to keep going on the road you're on? Decide. And when you really make that decision, it's going to change your life because you have decided you're going to change it. This is how it's done on a very basic level basic level. What I mean is these are 
the beginning sort of building blocks of this lesson and transformation. When I'm working with my clients one-to-one, we're having at least one conversation a week where I'm going through the things, we're going through the plan. I'm also holding them accountable, which means there's nowhere to run and hide. Additionally, we're able to do some deeper work to isolate patterns and, and like get into the subconscious mind and dig things up. Even better with my clients that do two sessions per week. I find that is, that's a delicious spot. But at minimum, I recommend one session a week. And the work that we do together is not what you're doing with your friends and your family and your priest and your whomever, right? This is self-development. This is personal development. And this is a whole different thing. You need your friends and your family as support, your partner as support, and then you have your coach or you have your therapist or you have your coach and your therapist. But do something. Don't just sit around waiting for something to change you. My friends, this is your life and you really can make it whatever you want. If you want it, you gotta make it happen. You, nobody else but you. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you that push, that charge, that kick in the butt that maybe you needed to just finally cut the shit and get started. As always, it was such a pleasure to do this video, especially after so long, my God, I don't even know how long it has been. And I can't wait to do the next class with you all. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me to gain a better understanding of which videos you find most useful and applicable. And as always, until we see each other next time, don't you forget that we truly are in this together. Mwah.